We've talked about doing nothing while awake, and we've talked about how we're actually doing something while we're asleep. Now let's talk about doing something while awake. So you wouldn't think so, but doing nothing is actually really exhausting. If you do that for a long period of time where all you do is sleep and sit awake doing nothing. Uh, and I have done this in the past. I haven't done it recently because I had already done this and it was, it was awful. Um, you sleep and then you wake up and you lay in bed and you don't do anything and then you go back to sleep and then you wake up and you lay in bed and you don't do anything and you go back to sleep. I did this uh, years and years and years ago uh, for quite a while back when I didn't have a job to go to. Nowadays I can't do that because I have a job to go to which I am very grateful for. <laughs> but yeah it's it's exhausting in a really weird way and uh, physically demanding in a really weird way and you start getting really sore and achy and whatever so the body definitely requires movement. Luckily my job is actually pretty physically demanding so I don't really have to worry too much about not getting enough physical activity. I've even had uh, chunks of time like several weeks at a time where literally all I did was work and sleep because I just didn't want to do anything, so I would just go to sleep and sleep for 16 hours sometimes, you know, and that'll happen. Sadly, it is raining outside, so I'd rather not go out there for some physical activity because it's gross and wet, and I wish I would have grabbed a shot when it was actually downpouring because then you could see that it's raining out. Versus, like, now the sun is out, or starting to come out, so it looks like I could go outside, but actually it's it's winter in, in Wisconsin, so it's very cold, so I just, I don't want to go outside anyway. I actually tried going for a run the other week anyways, and I barely made around a block before my lungs are absolutely killing me. And I figured, yeah, I probably shouldn't be stressed out my lungs while there's a respiratory illness going around. I'm also just kind of stalling for the moment so that you guys can see this like word art looking transition across the corner from where I'm filming this. Here we go. The birth of Jesus Christ. <laughs> and then it burns into flames. So my indoor free time physical activity has basically been limited to this thing. This is a very old phone of mine. If I can get it to turn on, there we go. HTC quietly brilliant. It's not going to do it, is it? Like sometimes it does it, sometimes it won't. There you go, followed by the loudest fucking Beats Audio startup sound I've ever heard from a, from a phone. So you're probably confused and wondering what the hell I mean that uh, this is my physical activity. Basically, I forgot the password to this thing a long time ago. And so I've been testing every single possible combination. Uh, it requires at least four numbers. So like I started off with 0000, zero, zero, zero enter. Okay, 0001, zero, zero, enter, 0002, zero, zero, enter, 0003, zero, zero, enter, 0004, zero, zero, enter, 0005, zero, 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 enter, zero, 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 zero. That's where the problem comes in because it limits me to five password attempts at a time and then I have to wait 30 seconds and then I can do five more and then I have to wait 30 seconds. So in between those 30 second intervals, I've been basically just running in place or jogging in place or doing high knees or like heel kicks or whatever, just moving at all. Uh, for 30 seconds at a time in between password attempts or in between like batches of password attempts five at a time. As you can see I've made it up to 1600. I'm guessing I think I honestly probably started off the password with a nine because that's like what I used to do back then. But I guess I'm just gonna keep on working at that for like a half an hour every day. Generally I think I can go through about a hundred passwords in 15 minutes uh, and then like 230 minutes so that's uh, that's what I'm gonna try to do every day so my daily routine at this point after like I said the the pro the point of this channel was stripping my life down to nothing down to the bare minimum and then rebuilding it up from there and uh, starting a new life and so at this point my daily routine is one minute of meditation and uh, like 15 to 30 minutes of trying to crack this phone and then making a video because uh, that's making a video is like one of the few things that I actually still still do want to do. So here we go. I'm gonna put in my my first five attempts and start the timer and run around blah blah. All right. So I last I left off was at 1600. So I'm gonna do 1601, 1602, 1603. 
1604, 1605, and yes, it's gonna vibrate with every single button press, and I can't change that until I figure out the password, and I start the 30 second timer, and then I run around like this for 30 seconds. Except, as you can see there, there's a slight delay between me, uh, the, the 30 seconds actually starting on the HTC phone, and then me pressing uh, to start the timer on my Google Pixel 4 AXL. I don't know what it is. I think it's a, a 4XL. So, this one is actually ready. This one is actually ready slightly before the timer actually goes off. So, 1606. 1607, 1608, 1609, 1610, 30 seconds, and I actually could change this to a 28 second timer. And you can see there's already, there's already a discrepancy. <laughs> so actually I guess I'll drop it a couple more seconds. I was doing this a while ago and I had figured out the ideal timer duration, um, but I have forgotten since then. So I'll drop it by a couple more seconds this time. We were at, uh, where were we? Oh no, 1610 was the last one. So uh, now we're at 1611, 1612, 1613, 1614, 1615. All right, cool. Now I'll drop this down to 26 seconds. And that's lining up a little bit better, a little more closely. Uh, 1615 that's where I left off and so that's uh, the other thing I would do while I'm jogging in place is I would just repeat the number to myself like an absolute madman running in place yelling numbers so that I can remember uh, what number I left off at so 1615 1615 1615 1615 timer uh, I'm already starting to sweat so 1616 is next 1617 1618, 1619, 1620. And let's just go ahead and start the timer right away. And you can see that that one is actually a little bit below now, which is good because that's going to account for the couple of seconds it takes me to start the timer and to stop the timer in between. Uh, so 16, where did I leave off? 1620, I think. 1620, 1620, 1620, 1620. <sighs> And so, I look like an absolute madman. This is, <sighs> this is ridiculousness. But I think that is uh, something good to accept. Hold on, like 16, 23, 16, 24, 16, 25. I really hope I didn't make a mistake there. 25, so the last one I tried was 25 and I have made 25 attempts. So therefore, I am on the right path. Or I'm like, you, I haven't made a big mistake. Sometimes I'll forget and then I'll have to like redo a batch and then the number I left off at and the uh, number of attempts that I've made will not match up and then things get very confusing. But 1625, uh, that's where I left off. Okay, what was I saying? <sighs> oh, right, I was saying, well, no, hold on, let me do this first before I get distracted and do it wrong. 1626, 1627, 1628, 1629, 1630. Okay, I was saying the ridiculousness of what I'm doing here. This as a physical activity, I think that's a good thing to uh, accept and uh, actually do because the point of physical activity is just to move. Like we can label different movements and be like, this is walking in place, this is jogging in place, this is running in place or whatever. We can, hold on, timer's about to go off. All right, shoot, where was I? 1630, 1631, 1632, 1633, 1634, 1635, 35. Okay, so I did it right, so I have the timer. We can label uh, squats, jump squats. Uh, box jumps, whatever. We can label all these movements. Uh, we can say um, overhand pull up, underhand pull up, muscle up, uh, pull up to a dip, whatever. Doesn't matter what you call it. The point is to move. The body doesn't care how many reps of how many, shush. The body doesn't care how many reps of how many sets or whatever um, in the way that we can, oh wait, 1636. 
1637, 1638, 1639, 1640, 40. Okay, we're good. Uh, the body just needs to move. It needs a challenge uh, in the sense of like, use it or lose it. If you don't use your body, it will atrophy. And so just doing anything at all, no matter, no matter how ridiculous, uh, as long as you're not like doing something stupid where you're gonna injure yourself, um, but something as silly as this is valid exercise. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, it gets me, uh, gets the heart pumping. Where did I leave off? 1640, 1641, 16, 1642, 1643, 1644, 1645. I'm going very quick. And uh, I kind of scare myself when I go that quick because it's like, wait, did I do it right? And then I want to do it over. Um, but actually this is my, I, my second time doing the 1600s. So uh, the chances of me screwing up on the same number twice um, is very, very small. So I've actually done far more attempts than 1600 attempts on this device. Um, but because I keep on, wow, that 30 seconds goes quick. Hold on, where I leave off, uh, 1646. 1647, 1648, 1649, 1650. Yes, okay. Because I keep screwing up and then just redoing that batch of 100, um, I haven't gotten that far because I just like really want to make sure I'm doing it right. So I'm allowing myself to talk now and, and explain all of this stuff while I'm doing the 1600s because uh, like I said, the chances of me doing the same number wrong both this time and the last time I did the 1600s is very, very small. Um, and I'm pretty confident that uh, I will have done them correctly. 1651, 1652, 1653, 1654, 1655. But yeah, like this is, this is all it takes. Literally just run around in your room. You don't need equipment. You don't need gym membership. Just move, just do anything is good exercise. That's something uh, that I learned very early on in uh, with exercise. So like this is getting me, I'm already working up a sweat. I'm like already getting uh, short of breath every time I have to stop and do this thing right here. 1655 is where I left off, I believe. 1656, 1657, 1658, 1659, 1660. 60. Excellent, and actually I'm going to drop this down in 25 seconds. <sighs> 1660s where we left off. 1660, 1660, 1660. I just realized I just went past to the number 1602. Uh, that is one of my favorite video games of all time. <laughs> and I definitely have been craving it lately. So I have considered, I'll probably mix in some gaming content on this channel as well. Um, yeah. It's a little foreshadowing of things to come. 1661, 1662, 1663, 1664, 1665. Uh, my throat's getting dry already, so 1665, uh, I can remember. And when I was, oh, I already feel like, yeah, uh, like the body is struggling. Why is the phone ringing? <laughs> uh, why do we have a landline in 2020? <laughs> what is, uh, no, don't listen to the voicemail. The, it, it says their phone number. Shush, device. 1666, oh no. 1667, 1668, 1669, 1670. Ah, so many times, and away we go. 1670, 1670, yeah, so when I wasn't filming myself and I was just doing this alone uh, with no one else here, I was just going 1670, 1670, 1670, 1670, 1670, 1670, 1670, 1670, like an absolute madman, but hey, it's exercise. <laughs> and I am really exhausted. So, oops, uh, 1671, 1672, 1673, 1674, 1675. All right, we're almost there. I'm getting close. We're at 75, 1680, 1680, so that I don't forget what number I left off on. All right, 
This is my uh, quarantine madness workout. <laughs> yeah, this is this is what I was doing um, very on and off this summer. Um, but now this is gonna be part of my daily routine. I'm gonna crack this phone from like 2014-ish. I'm guessing. I don't remember exactly when I had this phone. I don't remember exactly when I had this phone, but man, it would be really cool to see what kind of cringe I've got hiding in here. 1686. 1687, 1688, 1690. We are almost there. We're in the final stretch. I'm probably going to drop the timer a little bit more. Um, because every time I log or like open up the HTC, it's already ready. So if I can drop the, the timer like another second or two to where I can see, um, I can see the little 30 second waiting thingy expire the instant I open the device. The instant I swipe up and then I see like the little, you must wait 30 seconds. If I can get it that close, that's like the ideal timer length because then um, then I'm not wasting a single second and I'm not having to be moving uh, any longer than I need to be. <laughs> no, I'm more so about like being efficient with the time and getting as many passwords in as quickly as possible because I just really, really want to get back into this device and not have to do this anymore. <laughs> I've done this with like bike locks and and uh, I've never tried it with a padlock. Why did the sound? Wow, that was weird. The sound didn't go off for a couple seconds there. 1696. 1697, 1698, 1699, 1700. And that was, uh, yeah, about 15 minutes. You can't see there. Hold on, let me just, ta-da. There you go. I started at 1015, 15 minutes on the dot. Uh, perfect. I'm gonna leave the video here. I'm gonna dra grab a drink of water. Um, and then I think I'll do another round on my own. Yeah. Uh, cause the 17, cause last time, what was it like two days ago or whatever, three days ago when I tried the 1600s, I did the 1600s and the 1700s, the 1600s, I'm pretty sure I did right. But then the 1700s, I'm like, oh, I have to have made a mistake in here because I was getting distracted and not paying attention. Um, and I like think I pressed maybe 1705 when I was supposed to do 1750 or oh, who knows? I don't know. So I'm, this is i uh, I'm putting this back in my daily routine. And uh, I think you guys as well should uh, do anything, literally just like this. Instead of sitting, like maybe you're watching TV and you just do this casually. You don't even have to go like max speed like I was and burn yourself out to death. Exercise is good, it's important, it's necessary. <sighs> so yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's my workout routine, I guess. <laughs> Professional, uh, Trainers, leave a review. <laughs> Make a review video of my of my workout. That would be interesting. All right. Um, so, yeah, okay. Uh, have a great day. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm gonna go drink drink some water. Stay hydrated. Also, I wanted to show like a little brief behind the scenes of what I got going on here, as far as like how I was filming that with a webcam, and then I got this tripod there. My lights, yeah. Real simple. So also I just realized that 1770 is really hard to say like really, really fast. 1770, 1770, 1770, 1770, 1770. I say it okay there, but when I'm like jogging and trying to say it at the same time, yikes. I dare you to try it. Actually, let's just say it quicker. 1770, 1770, I had a third thing I wanted to interrupt with. But I can't remember what it was. I remember now. Okay, I, well, never mind. So you already saw that part in the video. Go outside and be physically active. Go away, car. I'm trying to film a video here. HTC quietly. It's not even in focus. Dang it. Yeah, redo that whole shot. All right, shut the phone. Come on, shut the phone off. Redo the shot because it wasn't in focus. And now the battery's dying. Ah! 
And now the foam cover came off and I had to redo that shot too because it rolled over there, over there where my uh, passwords are on that piece of paper and I can't show that shot now because it rolled. It won't turn on for some reason. It's a fidget thinner. For, excuse me, I'm filming here. Uh, so I, I don't wanna go do a, a physical activity. Uh, fuck you. I'd rather not go, God damn it. There's so many cars and I don't want to fuck you. While it would fuck you. So I'd rather not, while there's a fuck you, while there's a fuck you. It's you to only four, five, Ugh.